Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our tutorial on using paths for your animation and camera work. In this part two, we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can attach cameras to paths and get some pretty cool effects, um, pretty cool camera stuff done on your uh, for your projects. So first of all, we uh, are going to summarize from uh, part one. We have this uh, spaceship that's going along a certain, certain path here. It's going along this first path around these rocks. And then we're going to have it go through this ravine. So if I just zoom out a little bit, we can play back we'll see what we did in part one. So we have the spaceship at the bottom, zooming around this path, switching paths to over here and going through this ravine, doing a barrel roll, and then slowly ascending out of our ravine right there. So let's go ahead and look at the different types of uh, you know camera stuff we can do with paths. So I'm gonna select my alien fighter, press the F hotkey to focus on it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use a path template here. So to use a path template, we just go to our content tab, and in our props, we have a section called path. And I'm just going to use a simple circle template right here. You can uh, select from any one of these cool looking, you know, uh, paths. I'm just going to use a very simple circle one. And we'll put that relatively to, close to where our plane is right there. And let's try and get a, as much of an overhead view as we can. We can select the alien fighter actually and press the G hotkey and that'll give us a direct overhead view. And then we can select our path and kind of center it around the alien fighter right here. And then use the R hotkey to scale this path larger. Make sure we have the, uh, whoops, make sure we select that path here. Yeah, we can just call it circle zero one. And let's then make sure that we can select this yellow box right here and expand the entire path, I think, to something like that. It'll be cool. All right, and then let's um, move it up a little bit using the W hotkey. Let's move it to it so it's surrounding the uh, ship right there. And I think that's cool. What we're going to have is we're going to have an orbit cam for this spaceship as it's going along the initial part of its path here. So I'm going to create a camera, go create add camera, and we're going to call this camera orbit cam. And then to attach a camera to a path, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is make sure you have your camera selected and then go over here, path, uh, path and pick path and then pick the uh, path that we have right here. And we can switch to preview cam as well. And if I press the F8 hotkey, we can see our mini viewport pop up and we will expand this mini viewport so we can see it a little bit better let's try and get that corner there there we go and uh so here's our mini viewport and let's switch this camera to our orbit cam so currently our orbit cam is looking at something i think it's looking at the stones we can zoom in right here and take a look at exactly where it is there's a dummy right there and yes indeed it's facing the ground right here so if you pay close attention you can see that orbit cam so what, what I want this camera to do is at frame one, make sure we're at uh, frame one here. I want this camera to look at, uh, pick the target, and I'm going to pick our alien fighter over here. So now we're looking at this alien fighter, which is pretty cool, but maybe our camera angle is a little bit too close. Um, so we can either expand our path, we can make our path larger, or we can change the uh, focal length of our camera. So if I select my orbit cam and go up here, we can change this from 80 to something like 50 or even 35 and we get a uh, view like this. So let's go ahead then, and I think we, our first section of animation took about 400 frames. So we're gonna go to frame 400 to the end of our path. Right now you can see that our camera is left behind and our uh, spaceship is nowhere to be seen. And the reason for that is because we need to link this path to our fighter as well. Otherwise the path is gonna be left behind. So let's select the circle zero one path and go over here to pick parent and we'll pick the parent as a spaceship as well. And then we can go to frame 400 and we'll have a much different result. So now we can still see the alien spacecraft right here. And let's change our uh, progress along the path. So select our orbit cam. And let's change our progress along the path from 35 to 100. Uh, I'm not sure why it's at 35, but we can go back to frame one and take it back to zero right here. And so let's take a look at what we did now. If we play back, you can see our, our spaceship is going through the thing right here, going through the path, and then we have this. It stops at frame 400, but it's still linked to the spacecraft. So if we stop and play back and we switch our main camera to our orbit cam, we can get a better look. Um, so let's play this back uh, with the uh, main camera view here. So you can see we're circling around, and my only concern is breaking through that one rock there, but we'll just ignore that for now. We get a nice you know front view right here because the 100% of the uh, cam or the path is in front of the spaceship. So that's pretty cool. That's one kind of, uh, you know, 
path that we have if we scrub through really quickly, you know, this is kind of like a dramatic circle path right here. And you'd probably want to switch to another camera right here. You probably wouldn't, of course, before we go through this rock right here, you'd probably want to do that. And if you want to fix that, you can edit the control points for your path as well. But we're not going to worry too much about that. We can maybe make our circle path a little bit larger and see if that helps. If we go to our uh, circle right here and make sure that we expand it using the R hotkey, something like that. Let's see how that works. Go back to orbit cam and see if we no longer break through that uh, stone wall. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, that looks a lot better. Okay, we're still kind of going through some ravine walls, but that's okay. We'll, sw sw we'll switch cameras at that point right there. So the next thing I want to do is create a follow cam. Now there's two types of follow cams that we can create. And the first one is uh, just following along the path itself. And the second one is using a dummy to follow along. And I'll show you the difference with those in just a sec. So let's go ahead and first create add camera. And let's create follow cam one. Follow cam one. And we're going to have this camera start at the second path, at the entrance to the ravine here. So what I want to do, select that path and at frame one, it doesn't really matter what frame we're on. Let's go ahead and link to that path. So with our camera selected, make sure we select follow cam zero one path. We'll pick path and we'll pick point one right there. And of course we want this to be looking at our alien fighter. So we're going to use our look at constraint, pick target and pick the alien fighter right here. So now we'll get a view like this. You know, we get a different perspective of the entire thing and you know, it comes and zooms right towards us right here, which is pretty cool. And this would be kind of where you would like, you know, have the doing the barrel, the cool looking barrel roll through the ravine and everything like that. That'd be kind of a cool camera angle right there in itself. But say we want this camera to be following that, uh, we want it to be following the alien space fighter. So let's go to this frame right here. I think this frame right here is pretty cool. And with our follow cam selected, we can just select something like 0 0.1 on the posi path position. And then we'll go to the very end uh, of our path before the, uh, the spacecraft, um, you know, finishes its route. And let's select the alien fighter and go all the way to the end. I think it stops at about frame 700 something here. We're going to make this a little bit later to finish the path because we actually want the camera to be following behind the spacecraft. So maybe about frame, I think 775 should be okay. And then at 775, we'll select our follow cam and then we'll pick position 100. Let's take a look at what this one looks like. So now we have this kind of cool follow cam. It starts really close right here. And let's play this back. Uh, a preface, if you have motion sickness, you might not want to watch this. It's kind of, uh, you know, crazy, but we have this kind of Star Trek or Star Wars type, you know, effect where we're following the um, spacecraft through the ravine. We don't have to worry about that last part there. I'll show you more about that later on. Now, say, for example, we wanted the, uh, we wanted to have the kind of perspective that we're following that spacecraft through the ravine but we're also another spacecraft. So we're also doing the same barrel rolls and everything like that. What I can do in that case is I can use a dummy. So let's go back to our preview camera here and let's create a dummy on the very first point of this path as well. So we have that follow cam on the path. Let's go ahead and create a dummy. So I'm gonna just go into my content tab, uh, add a prop, we'll go to 3D blocks and we'll add in our trusty uh, box. It doesn't really matter what shape you use. I'll just drag in a box zero one. And then at the very beginning, I can just connect this to the path. And uh, let's just press the P hotkey. I always forget where it is. Pick path and pick point one right there. And then what we want to do is we want to have this box follow the path as well. Because this box is basically representing our cockpit of the secondary fighter. So what I can do is, um, you know, we, 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 can, we can use this box. It's fine. Just select follow path and also select negative Y axis right there. You, know, you can't really see the difference because it's just a box. But what we need to do now is just go and create a second camera. So let's add a camera and we'll call this camera follow cam cam two. Oh, I accidentally pressed one follow cam two. Switch that name back. There we go. Follow cam two. And then what we need to do is link this follow cam two to our box. So select our follow cam two, pick parent and pick the box. And since we're currently in follow cam two, let's get our camera position ready right away. So let's zoom in to the box and we're going to basically be, you know, like I said, this box kind of represents our cockpit. We're going to be about right here. I think that should be fine. And we can make this box invisible. It doesn't really matter. So this is going to be the beginning of our secondary camera. So again, we're going to just go and we'll just, we'll just do a look at 
of our other fighter, but let's take a look at what it looks like without the look at first. So again, let's just scrub through our timeline to the frame, I think 400 or something, where we're basically right here. So we're going to have a safe distance behind this fighter. We're not, we're not crazy. We're not as crazy as this guy doing barrel rolls, although we, we will be doing barrel rolls. So all I want to do here is maybe at about this point, I think this point here, we'll go to, again, um, uh, press the P hotkey on our box, position 0 0.1. And the only reason we're doing this is because this is a keyframe from where our animation, from where our path follow will begin. So if I press F3 and go into my timeline, you can see if I go into my constraints and we twirl down, you can see this is the beginning point right here. We're connected to the path from this point onwards, but here's where we start moving. So this is 0 0.1. And then uh, I think the alien fighter stops moving at about, again, frame 775. So we're going to go to a little bit behind this guy, maybe to about uh, frame 750. And with our box selected, we can just go uh, to the path and position will be 100. All right, so now we're actually inside the secondary, uh, we're actually inside the alien fighter. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens here with our follow cam too. So we'll kind of be doing the same loops that this guy is doing and you know, we're not following him, um, but we are going along our own path. So again, motion sickness warning right here. This will be our second uh, follow cam starting right here. So we'll just uh, a little bit disorienting and, uh, you know, that'll be the result right there. And we can we can adjust that by just, you know, selecting um, our camera, our follow cam too. And we can have it look at, so we can, you know, look at pick target and pick our alien fighter. And again, we're not going to be using this perspective normally. Um, you know, we have something like that. Um, but this is where we'll be starting about here. So, you know, we're doing the same kind of twists and turns, same kind of barrel rolls, but we're following the fighter like that. So that's kind of cool. That's uh, yet another camera technique. Uh, you, by using dummies to follow along the path, you can have the camera attached to that path. And a good reason for using dummies is if we, is if we select uh, the box and, you know, we're uh, any, anywhere along here, we're not actually confined to the path. So our camera can actually move along anywhere we want. So for example, right here, we're not confined to the path. We can zoom out and we can uh, pan up. We're still, we're still constrained by looking at the alien fighter at this point. But if we want to have you know, a higher perspective, we can do that as well. So we can have you know, a perspective from back here. Whereas if we were directly constrained to the path, we would be directly constrained to the path. When you're constrained to the path, you can't move your camera uh, when your camera is on the path. So say, for example, I went to uh, our first uh, orbit cam right here, and I tried to move our camera around. Um, you can see I'm holding the Alt key and I'm panning around, but nothing's moving because we're actually constrained. Whereas if we use this dummy as an intermediary, so if we go to follow cam two, you know, we can get a much more zoomed out perspective or we can get an overhead perspective. And then we can get a more unique look like this. You know, we're kind of clipping through some ravine walls there, but um, just kind of wanted to show you that right there. So that's kind of the cool effect that you can have. And then again, to, to finish things off, normally you'll want to uh, make all your cameras invisible. So I'll just make all of our paths and our cameras invisible. And I think my favorite one was maybe follow cam one. So let's switch to uh, follow cam one here and, uh, you know, playback. We get something like this. And our camera is just, you know, coming along. Zoom, and then we have this kind of cool effect where he's doing a barrel roll through the uh, ravine. And then, zoop. See, for example, right here, it's just as one final tip. Right here, we want it to kind of like seem like he's zooming off into space really fast. We can do that using a, a quick uh, scaling trick by just going to preview camera, select our alien fighter. So say for example, here is where he starts his ascent off into infinity. We can use our ravine path to measure the uh, points right here. So let's just go a little bit ahead and maybe here, let's select our alien fighter and press the R hotkey and scale. And then over here we can scale, where's our uh, scale values at the top there? So we can you know, scale this something like uh, 30.2, so it's not noticeable to the human eye, but that'll create a keyframe for us. And then when we get to our final uh, you know, point right here, it'll be, we'll scale it down to something super, super small. So like, you know, uh, something barely noticeable, like 0 0.6 or 0 0.3 or something like that. And in addition, we can also take our uh, ravine path and we can edit it. Take this point here and 
bring this point even further up way off into infinity so somewhere over here maybe even outside of our uh or maybe we'll, we'll keep it inside the sky map right there so i think something like that would be good let's take a look at what it looks like right now through our follow cam one which ended up being my favorite one so now you can see you just fell along the path and then droop, he'll slowly get smaller and take off into the distance like that which is pretty cool let's go ahead and play that back one more time without our ravine path and that'll be it for this tutorial so again guys um hopefully you learned a lot about uh you know using different types of paths to create different camera effects and how you can edit the points and move them and everything like that and create different sort of effects by scaling and, and having your camera follow along and different camera angles and all that fun stuff so thanks for watching again guys and see you next time